Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Here's my email address, Hector Mendoza at Justin at Yahoo.com. Uh, you can email me, uh, ask me for my phone number, or if you want some explanation on some of my uh, YouTubes, you can email me. But what I'm going to do on this video is create a diagram and some ability. Basically, it's sketching. A diagram like a floor plan or a uh, roof so we'll start with the floor plan so so far if as far as stability is concerned I um, you know I created a small video setting up some of your preferences and stability then I created a new claim or take ownership of a claim it's things you got to do before you can even start uh, writing claims and also entering basic information uh, on a claim and civility. In addition, I have all these other videos for Xactimate that I have in uh, other videos. This is an eight-part series on how to become an independent adjuster from scratch. Uh, you know, where to get your test, uh, then all the way to writing a claim. But then it's broken down. Uh, I mean, th those are several hours, and then these are even more hours. But how to create doors, how to uh, draw a sketch using a scan, you know, bringing it in, uh, creating decks, stairs, uh, you know, labeling photos, uh, using your rotate scales. There's just a bunch of them. So if you go through all this, you'll see a lot of my videos. So now, so we're right here creating a diagram sketch. Well, it's, it's a, in Symbility it's called a diagram. In Xactimate it's called a sketch. Okay, so, so let's go to Symbility. We've already gone through how to set up, putting all the information. So to create a uh, diagram, you see right here on the left-hand side, if you right click, you can add a floor plan, add a roof plan, add an exterior plan, or you can import an XLM file. Okay, so, uh, so right now we're gonna add a floor plan. Okay, so before I even get started, you need to, uh, understand a little bit about this this ribbons up here it's uh they're dynamic as to what you're doing in other words so this is a floor plan which is going to look totally different than a roof plan and uh so it's a little bit different than exactimate so if you click here see that uh, crosshair, two things I can do. I can just click and then name, like living room, right? You know, you can just type uh, L I V I N G. Mm, okay, let's uh, bedroom. Okay, bedroom. Okay. Um, so, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, and you know, it, by default, it's going to give you a 10 by 10. Okay, so let's delete that. I can click on this. You know, I can left click and drag. So draw. Uh, left click and draw to the size I want. Okay, and you know, so. Uh, So, you know, I type L-I-V, I thought it would go straight to it, but uh, L-I-V, I-N-G, okay, so you can put, even, okay, so, <clears throat> now there's some pre-loaded rooms up here, okay, so, and you can create your own and load them and save them, for instance, let's say that you wanted an L-shaped uh, room. All I have to do is click, 
and then you know bedroom whatever i want to uh, put right or same thing again i can go in here and click on it click and drag and it'll proportionately enlarge it to the uh, the width that you put in there okay and then you would name it you know whatever you want to add uh, put in there uh, so and then here's some more you know a, a T uh, so let me show you something when you create this room you see this little circle right here let's say that thing was in your way you can always just click and drag it out of the way and you see how it draws a line to it that's in case if it ever gets cumbersome and, and you know uh, you want to move that out of there uh, so this is where you would create your staircases you know you can just click create one or you can click and drag and draw it to the size you want okay uh, this one is the same if you know exactly made this is what you would be uh, call a wall tool okay so you can click 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 and close and then name it you know whatever you want to call it so in, in uh, Xactimate, that would be called a, a wall tool. Okay, now, when I was talking about dynamics, I'm not going to go over this too much, because uh, all I wanted to do is show you how to create rooms, but I, would, I do have to show you some things. Like, for instance, if I create a room, and see, if I click here, I have this particular uh you know uh, ribbon right all these ribbons so pan I can move my canvas zoom in is you can zoom in zoom out let's say you want the whole thing one-on-one -on -one. zoom to fit and that's good you know uh, lowers it okay so another thing um, so if you should select this now you're gonna have all this the ribbon changes it's dynamic to what you're actually doing if I click here gives me a totally different you know windows when I select it now it gives me all of this other options for instance let's say I wanted to cr uh, create a wall uh, a window right here if I went in there and clicked on window, it's going to put a window right in the middle. See, if I select this and I select doors, it's going to put a door right in the middle. Now, if I, you know, so, uh, but I'm not going to go over, there's a lot of other stuff. And, and uh, those are other videos that I'm going to show y'all. I just wanted to show you little step by steps on how to do this. So that's how you create a floor plan. Same thing with your. Now you see we got a floor plan, and you can name it whatever you want. Okay, uh, you know you can right click and rename, right? And I'm just gonna call it rooms. So that's what you know, whatever you want to call it. So now. If I click on diagram again and hit right click, now I can add a roof plan. Okay, so I'm going to add a roof plan. Come on, you can do it. Okay, so now it created a roof plan. There it is. Now you see how all of this changed? because now we're in roof roof so if you click here this is for your Dutch now this two look almost the same one's a Dutch hip and this is a partial hip okay then right here is the hip 
there's your gable dormer there's your gable so you know you gotta learn those new icons so you create one and uh, based on what you have up here so let's say that you had a um, l-shape and then you got your you know your hip l shapes then you have your mansard uh, but you have all different kinds of shapes there and we're going to get into more and more i just wanted to show you how to put it in here and how they act for instance you know let's say that i put a hip roof and uh, now when i click on it look what happens down here i get a, i can rotate it i can cut it i can add skylights i can fl flip uh i can mirror it you can't see it but it's mirroring i can flip it uh i can rename it i can open a triangle or put put an opening right in there uh you know this is the pan tool this is my zoom zoom out fit to zoom at 100 percent so now that's all i'm going to show you because i just wanted to show you how to create diagrams okay now and then we're going to go more into it as we uh as i start get, get into videos thank you for watching this video and look forward to seeing you on the next one